Um, completely hypothetical situation, but potentially very real. In the event that your deal cannot get through, would you rather a second referendum or a general election? Mr. Hunt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Neither. Um, so, I'm so neither. Sorry, so sorry, I would rather. Just, you, you do have to address the question. Yes, no, no, I've said it. exactly, and 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 it is precisely because I will not accept either of those that. I think it is dangerous to have that hard deadline that Boris has been talking about. Because if you're saying, as I think Boris, I'm just going to quote those exact words, do or die, come what may, uh, you're going to leave on that date. If Parliament then blocks that, the only thing you can do to keep that promise to the British people is change Parliament, have an election. And I think if we have an election before we've left the European Union, we just need to look at what happened at the Peterborough by-election. We got squeezed by the Brexit party on the right, the Lib Dems on the left, who came through the middle? The Labour Party. Incredibly dangerous. And all the polls show, it doesn't matter who our next Prime Minister is, it would be the same result if we have an election before we've Brexited. We would have uh, a Labour, Lib Dem, SNP coalition and okay. no Brexit at all. Mr Johnson, I, which, I which must, would you I choose? Say, I, think that, uh, I think that I refuse to choose between either of those options. And I dimly recollect that uh, my, my adversary recommended a a second referendum uh, after the after uh, oh, after he said, he said uh, democratic after endorsement and oh, that we sorry. had with the general election. Oh, okay. oh, you wanted a democratic endorsement. We had right. it oh, with the general oh, election. Oh, right. sorry, I, I, I misunderstood that. Okay, uh, forgive me, <laughs> uh, but I don't want either a uh, a second referendum or a, or a general election. But I think that what will increase the risk of a, a general election and indeed increase increase the risk of a Corbyn government is if we continually kick the can down the road. And I don't know whether you noticed, but at the recent European Parliament elections, uh, our great party, the Conservative Party, scored a staggering 8.8% in the poll uh, mm -hmm. because people are totally fed up and they see us failing to get Brexit across the line. They now hear again, yet again, that we are prepared to dither and drift and, and delay beyond the deadline of October. Mr. Johnson, we saw that. We saw, I, we, saw, I, we saw the European election results. I, we we, we followed think, that one. I don't think we will easily recover if we delay okay. again. Can I ask you, you said at the ITV debate last week, you, you mentioned the forthcoming election. It rather sounds like you're planning one. What do you mean by forthcoming election? I, well, obviously, the, the will, uh, this country will, will remain an, an, you know, an elective democracy, and we will have a... Uh, yeah, but forthcoming we have, we have, quite and Not even the sun has any plans to change that, I trust. Uh, we, 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 we will, particularly right. not the sun, I should say. And we will, we, will, we, will, we will have an election at some stage in 2022. So you will rule out 20, a general election? 20, 2022. Mr. Johnson, you'll rule out a general election before Brexit is delivered? Absolutely. I think, as I've, as I've just said, I think it would be the height of folly. Uh, to, uh, there are several points. First of all, I think the people of this country are utterly fed up with politicians coming back to them with more elections and offering more referendums and all the rest, all rest of it. But it's totally wrong. What they want us to do is get on and deliver what they told us to do on June the 23rd, 2016, and they're, they're yeah. fed up with waiting. How are you going to govern with a majority of three? Because that's oh, what I you're facing. People might I defect, people might go upstairs, anything could happen. I, I think that the, I think the politics has changed since March the 29th when we failed to come out, and I think that lots of uh, our colleagues, Jeremy and I's colleagues on, uh, are just, not just on the Conservative benches, but on Labour benches as well, can see this fatal hemorrhage of trust to uh, the Brexit party and uh, to the Liberal Democrats, because they're both basically predating, what's the word I'm feeding, on the same decay, like twin puffballs, yeah. as it were, saprophytically feeding on the same sense of decay and trust in politics. And until we get Brexit done, they will continue to attract hundreds of thousands, if not millions, yeah. of votes. And that's why we've got to turn this thing around, be very uh, determined, and get Brexit over the line by October the 31st. Mr Hunt. Well, I, um, I'm not sure that we got an answer to Diana's question there, because if... I don't if we, we forget, well, it's not, this is not just about optimism. Hope. Both of us want to leave by October the 31st. Both of us hope Parliament doesn't block a no-deal Brexit. But it did block a no-deal Brexit just in March. And there are people who are trying to do exactly the same thing. And we may have a reduced majority if, which I very much hope we don't, we lose the forthcoming by-election. And so that is why I think we've got to be very careful. If we get this wrong, we will trip ourselves into an accidental general election. Uh, 
long before October the 31st, and we will give the keys of Downing Street to someone who will never deliver Brexit. And that will be the biggest betrayal of all. So this is not just about the determination and hunger to do what the British people told us to do, which is to get out.